Cluster ERIC is a European research infrastructure recognized by the member states of the European Union as an infrastructure of European interest. While our members, the service provider, operate in their national context and cope with their specific challenge, well, one could say that CESTA is the external arms of the service providers. CESTA was put on the S3 roadmap in 2006. CESTA is the representation of the members. It's like the European Commission is also representative of uh, all the member states. It's a fully established and operational research infrastructure that has reached its mature phase. The more members engage with each other and engage with CESTA, the stronger and more proactive CESTA can be on behalf of its members and can also support scientists at the national, European and global level. Says it has been successfully coordinated the social sciences and humanities open cloud to offer researchers services, tools and training required to make optimal use of data. Also it's more important than ever because we live in complex times and alignment and more strategic collaboration between the service providers and CESTA is important to strengthen social sciences overall. Trust is really critical in research data and research metadata and in the services that deliver them as well. It's also trust between the service providers and between the service providers and their depositors, their users and their funders. And through compliance with the Core Trust Seal as part of the support work that says to deliver, we ensure that repositories meet the criteria for organisational infrastructure, technology, for security and for digital object management. We would like to empower social science researcher to actually deliver high quality research output. But also on the other hand, we want to make data usable. So we want to really promote the reuse. We want to strengthen the capacities of our service providers um, so that we train their staff on different tools and services so they can promote it later on in their communities. There's different expertise in CESA members, so we can with different knowledge. Some people have more knowledge on uh, data management planning, others in GDPR and ethical elements, but also in the tools like Dataverse. And together, jointly, we address all the requirements coming from the European Community uh, Commission and European Union. And I think this is really important as, uh, uh, to do as jointly. We spent a few, the last few years building our cloud platform and we spent a lot of time focusing on the technical components, making sure that our quality measures are in place and that we can ensure that the components that we've developed and that our service providers have developed actually satisfy these criteria. And now the next step is to offer these services to the users, to the researchers and establish our frameworks around this on how we manage these services and how we communicate with the user and ensure that we're actually delivering what they need. On the technical level, making sure that our APIs and uh, components are compatible, that we're using standards that are recognized by EOS through the interoperability framework. But we're also working towards uh, using the same standard when it comes to the management of our services, the process management in behind uh, IT service management to make sure that when communicating with e-infrastructures or with other ERICs on what we're delivering and how we're delivering this, that we're talking the same language. On the technical side of sustainability, we spent many years developing our quality criteria to make sure that our software is maintainable in the long term, that new developers coming in in a few years can take over where we are now and develop new functionality as the demands and requirements by our users change. I'd like to highlight the SESTA Data Catalog, or CDC as we call it, both the human interface and the machine uh, interface. And it's all about data and it's all about metadata. So researchers and other users can come to the SESTA Data Catalog and find the data for their research. So I, I would say that the main uh, group is the researchers, uh, social science researchers, but also researchers from other disciplines that want to use social science data, uh, but also other infrastructures that are collecting information about existing data, for example. Very basic objective, which is with CESDA from the very beginning in 1970s, and that is uh, the 
general promotion of uh, data sharing and development of data services across Europe. There is an increase in membership, I think from 15 to 22 plus uh, one members now. Developments in target countries, member and non-member countries. And the CESTA relies on all the service providers and national actors to do they share and uh, that's where the data actually lives in the national service providers uh, collections. In the long term, CESTA should be sustainable. It should be a re-owned infrastructure trusted where the scientists really want to go to the place and where excellent data can be provided for all sorts of science disciplines but also possibly for other research fields. So my goal for the next five years is that CESTA stays relevant and be very innovative and new products and services will come out.